bread. <laughs> We're gonna make keto bread. Um, so I have made this recipe before. Um, it was a really, really, really long time ago when I made it. So um, I haven't made this recipe in a while. And I've had the stuff, I've been wanting to make it again. Um, so I just thought, you know, people are always wanting keto bread recipes. So I thought that this would be a good one to, to do live. Um, so for those of you who are new to keto, I just wanna say before we start this recipe, you're probably going to be freaked out because <laughs> we've all been there, those of us that do keto, we've all been there when you first start like looking into keto and figuring it all out and you, you finally understand that it's like just a lot of fat. <laughs> I mean, you're eating low carb, you're eating high fat, um, and that freaks people out because for years we've been told that fat is bad. Um, it's not bad, but you know, that's just been the belief for a long time. So, you know, if, if you decrease your carbs really, really low, then your body starts burning fat for energy. Um, so, you know, eating high fat on the keto diet, it's actually, it's what it's all about. You need to eat fat. Um, so if you were still eating really high carbs and you were eating high fat, that's a different story because, you know, if you're eating high carbs, your body is going to use the carbs for energy and just store the fat. So that's what keto is all about. You know, you want to get your carbs really low. So then it forces your body to burn fat for energy. So, <laughs> You know, there's, you know, this recipe has a lot of, um, a lot of cheese in it, basically. So, you know, if you're not following a keto diet right now and you're used to, you know, just trying to keep your fat low and everything, because that's what we've been told to do for so long, um, the recipe is going to kind of freak you out a little bit. But I'm telling you, when you are on keto and you're following low carb, high fat, this is what it's all about. Um, so don't freak out. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I'll go through the ingredient list with you real quick. You don't have to write it down because after I get done doing the video, I'll come back in the group, I'll edit my video post, and I will put the ingredients and the instructions right in this video post for you. So if you don't have a pen and paper, don't worry about having to write all this stuff down. Um, but I'll just go through the list real quick so that you know what, what, I'm, what I'm working with here. Um, so you need eight ounces of cream cheese, two cups of mozzarella cheese, three eggs, a fourth a cup of Parmesan cheese, one cup of crushed pork rinds, and one tablespoon of baking powder. Now if you want to, you can also mix in like some different herbs and spices to give the bread some flavor. Um, that's totally up to you. The other thing that you can do with, um, with this recipe you know, if you're if you're following keto, you've probably heard of fathead dough. Um, this is you know a little similar. It's not exactly the same, but you can actually use this as a pizza crust if you wanted to. If you wanted to just you know put it in a circle shape or a rectangle or whatever for pizza, um, you can use it for a pizza crust too. So um, I like I like to have bread because I like to have egg sandwiches. I like. I like to eat sandwiches. I just always have. Um, okay, so the first thing that I've done, I have my oven preheating to 375, um, and I took my cream cheese out earlier just to let it soften a little bit, so I've already got that in my bowl here. Now, I went through and measured everything and put it in bowls ahead of time, <laughs> so then you don't have to sit and watch me measure everything. So just trying to save a little time because I know you guys don't want to sit and watch a live video of me for, you know, an hour. So um, I've got my, my cream cheese in here, and then I've got two cups of mozzarella cheese. So I'm just going to dump that in there. Okay, so the recipe says to microwave this for a minute, stir it, microwave it for another minute, stir it then it should be like melted and melted so that we can work with it and then we add the other ingredients so i'm going to stick this in the microwave for a minute hopefully that doesn't splatter i don't have my cover on there 
Um, while that's cooking, I want to talk to you about pork rinds. <laughs> so the last time I made this recipe, I made a mistake. So I had a bag of pork rinds because I pretty much always have pork rinds on hand because I can, they're like a, in place of chips to snack on. Um, I like to make nachos with them. I like to just dip them in stuff. So when you need a crunchy snack like a potato chip, um, pork rinds are good. Um, they're zero carb. They're, you know, they have different flavored ones. I have some chili lime ones, some barbecue ones. Um, you can get all kinds of different flavors of, of pork rinds. Um, so the mistake that I made <laughs> the first time I made this was um, the recipe calls for crushed pork rinds. So I thought, well, I'll just crush them myself. So I put the pork rinds in like a Ziploc bag. Hold on. Um, I put the pork rinds in a Ziploc bag and I used my rolling pin and just tried to like smash them <laughs> because that, you know, made sense to me. I, that's what I would do with crackers if I were making a recipe with crackers. So um, that made sense to me that that should work. <laughs> um, hold that thought. So, okay, so I did a minute and it's, you know, getting pretty pretty gooey here. Um, so I'm going to put it in for another minute and then stir it again. Okay, so I smashed up my own pork rinds and they were pretty, pretty fine for the most part, but it was really hard to get them completely smashed up. So there were like chunks of kind of whole solid pieces of pork rinds when I made it. So then, you know, I made the bread, but then the bread came out and it had like chunks of big thick pork rinds in there. And so it was pretty gross. Um, I had to pick those pieces out of the bread because, you know, it was like cooked pork. So it was like um, just chunks of fat in my bread. <laughs> Not to gross you guys out, but it was, it was gross. So I found these um, pork rind crumbs on Amazon. Um, I don't know if you can see that okay. So, I mean, this is what I'm using today because they're really, really ground up pork rinds. Um, I think you probably could grind up your own like in a food processor. It would probably work pretty good too. Um, okay, so this is getting really, really, really soft and melted here. So anyway, that's the thing about the pork rinds. So um, I just wanted to mention that so that you don't make the same mistake that I made and think that you can just crush up your own. Um, I think you could just crush up your own. Like I said, if you, um, you know, maybe put them in a food processor or a blender or something. Um, okay, so now, this is all nice and gooey here. It's all mixed up good. So now um, the next step is to add all of the other ingredients. So I've got three eggs. And I'm actually gonna mix them up a little bit here before I put them in there. Okay, so I've got the three eggs. And I'm gonna kind of mix these things in as I add them, just to try to make sure I get everything mixed up really well. I know you guys, this seems like a really weird bread recipe. It's all <laughs> cheese and pork and, um, you know, I've made other keto bread recipes that, you know, have like almond flour and, and other stuff, but you know, there's a lot of different ways to make keto bread, but I really like this one just because it's, you know, just like cheese and pork and eggs and um, I'm kind of following like a, almost a carnivore diet during the week. So this is something I can actually have. Okay, so now I've got Parmesan cheese. This is a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Add that in there. And I think I'm gonna add the pork rinds last. Okay, 
And then there is a tablespoon of baking powder. Put that in there. All right. And I haven't eaten yet today, so you guys, um, if you've been following me for a while, you know I do intermittent fasting, so I've been fasting this morning, so I'm excited for this to get done because I'm going to actually make a sandwich for lunch. I guess it's like, it's after lunch, but <laughs> okay. So that's my Instant Pot, just telling you the eggs are done cooking. <laughs> um, all right, so one cup of crushed pork rinds, put that in there. I know for some people pork rinds just seem disgusting, but you know when you're following keto and you you're craving potato chips, um, <laughs> pork rinds are a nice alternative. Um, another alternative is Quest chips. If you guys haven't tried Quest chips, oh my God, they are to die for. I can't even tell the difference between the Quest chips and regular chips, honestly. Okay, so I have got this all mixed up. I've got everything in there. I don't know if you can see very well because my lighting is weird. I've got sunlight coming in the window and my kitchen's not that bright. <laughs> okay, everything is all mixed up in there. So now the next thing we need to do is you need to line a pan with parchment paper. Um, when you are following keto, you must have parchment paper <laughs> because pretty much all of the recipes, the, you know, like the dessert recipes and different things, cookies and stuff like that, um, just because of the ingredients, you usually need to use parchment paper. So it just keeps it from sticking to the pan, um, you know, just because of the kind of ingredients we have. Like if I were to cook this on the pan, I'm sure the cheese would just probably stick to the pan. <laughs> so I've got my parchment paper and then I'm just gonna dump this right on there. And then, like I said, if you were wanting to use this as a pizza crust, you could, um, you know, put it into like a circle. You could get a cir circle pan. Um, and basically at this point, you just have to spread it out into a rectangle. Um, this recipe makes 12 servings. Um, so you just, you know, it depends on, you know, how thick you want your bread. This is basically, you're gonna spread this out, you're gonna bake it, and then when it's done, you just cut it into pieces. And then that's just, it's just like flatbread. So, um, you know, if you want really thick slices, then you wouldn't have to spread it out very, you wouldn't have to spread it out very much. If you want really thin pieces of bread, then obviously you would just, you know, spread it out thinner. So it's, you know, it takes a little bit of patience to, um, you know, get it all to spread out the way you want it because it's, you know, really sticky. It's, you know, melted cheese and, um, okay. So, sorry, I know it's not very exciting watching me spread this stuff. Um, you know, you could, um, what I've done with some other recipes, like when I've made like keto crackers and stuff, you could put another piece of parchment paper on top of this and use that to press, you know, press it out and flatten it out. Um, that works really well. Sometimes like I'll put a piece of parchment paper on top of, you know, when I'm making stuff like this and then I'll like use my rolling pin and roll over the top of it. So, you know, just parchment paper is awesome <laughs> for stuff like this. Okay, so just gonna scrape some of that off on there. 
All right, so that looks pretty good. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just flat. Um, after I bake it, then I'm just gonna cut it into pieces and those pieces are gonna be my slices of bread. So, I mean, this is not a loaf style of bread. <laughs> um, one of the last bread recipes I made, it was actually a loaf. Um, but this is just, you know, it's just different. So, um, okay, so that's all done. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven, 375, and then bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. Just kinda depends on, you know, how well it's done. And then you just take it out, let it cool, and then slice it into pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven. All right, I'm gonna set that for 20 minutes and then just see, see how it looks after 20 minutes. Um, okay, so the recipe, like I said, it makes about 12 slices. Um, and each slice of bread is one net carb, which that's, you know, <laughs> that's pretty good for bread. Um, the calories are 166. Now, don't freak out. Like I said in the beginning, the fat is 13 grams. <laughs> I know that's scary for people who don't follow keto. Um, protein is nine. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of other things too, but what we really care about on keto is the calories, the carbs, the fat, the protein. So, um, so that's it. I'm just going to let it cook for 20 minutes. Um, you know, like I said earlier, I've kind of started doing a little bit of a, what I call a keto carnivore <laughs> during the week, which, um, those of you who follow me, if you've been following me for a while, know that I don't do very well with vegetables because of my IBS. So, I've been finding that it works really well for me just to focus on eating meat, eggs, cheese, fat. Um, so, you know, and I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat breakfast usually. So the only thing I really have to worry about for my meals now is I need to make lunch and I need to make dinner. Um, so my meal prep is so super simple now. <laughs> I just, I mean, I have my hard cooked eggs. I can make a quick egg salad for lunch and then, you know, cook some burgers or something for dinner. So um, my meal prep has gotten super, super, super simple <laughs> since I've been doing keto, since I've been doing intermittent fasting. So um, anyway, I won't keep you guys. Um, I'm gonna cook my bread. When my bread comes out, I will post a picture so you guys see what it looks like. Um, I'll slice it up so you can see what the slices look like. And then, like I said, I'll go back in and I'll edit this post and I will put the recipe in the post so you guys have that. So, all right, um, have a great rest of your day. If you have any questions, drop them down below and we'll talk to you soon, bye.